This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 17. It reads, So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, have spoken it. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world everybody calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation, Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash. Spirit only. The blindness that apostles and elders of great Muslim will teach one rule who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim listening, listening and learning, in sincerity and in truth and in silence, Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwatim meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. Shibuda Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto here with another lesson. All right, we'll get right into it. This came out on Time, Time Magazine, Time.com, May 30th, the hopeful year that Jacob's trouble comes to pass. It says here, a third person in the U.S. has bird. This time it's different, right? Polycrisis, right? Esau's cooking, man. Cooking up polycrisis after polycrisis after polycrisis. Polycrisis. A polycrisis is a cluster of disparate crises and shocks that interact, entangle, and mutually reinforce one another. It typically leads to more drastic effects than the sum of the parts. The concept was coined in the 1990s, but became popular in the 2020s to refer to the effects of the emic war inflation, climate change, energy shortages, and democratic backsliding, right? And this is the time we're in right now, man, right? Time of increasing poverty crisis, right? Every day, it's, every day is grim news, right? But it's all prophecy. A third dairy worker in the U.S. has tested positive for the bird infection, that is causing outbreaks in cattle in at least nine states. Right, and we're going to start to see this uh, increase with the cattle, man. And what will that lead to? A double whammy, a famine, and then you have people being delete being deleted from from the pestilence. The farm worker from Michigan was exposed to infected cows, and is the first of the three recently confirmed cases. To have respiratory symptoms, right? So that's the difference now. <clears throat> now they're saying respiratory symptoms, right? There's a poly crisis. Esau Adam's moving. He knows he has but a short time. He's moving. The usher in his NWO, ult his NWO. Ultimately, it's the Lord's NWO. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. The Lord's putting the spirit on Esau Edom to usher this this thing in the NWO, which will which which includes the 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 MOTB. The Revelation 13, verse 16 on down. Right? According to the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, the previous two people, another in Michigan and one in Texas, did not show any, any respiratory symptoms, but experienced discharge from the eyes. The dairy worker in the, late, in the latest case worked on a different farm in Michigan than the previous case reported in the state. Right? Polycrisis. Right? The Lord's not playing, man. The Lord's visiting this place. And the Lord's using his sword on the left-hand side, Esau, Edom, to move, to bring it. Ezekiel 5. Verse 14, moreover, I will make thee waste and a reproach among the nations, right? Two-thirds of our people 
right? The Lord's visiting two thirds of our people among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by, right? All these other nations are gonna see it, right? It's, it's not called Jacob's trouble for no. It's it's Jacob's trouble, but the other nations are gonna catch it as well. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt and instruction and astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee. Right, the nations are going to see Jake get jacked up, man. They're going to see horrific judgments come on Jake. And they shall be astonished when they see it. When I shall execute judgments in the, in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes, I, the Lord, Yahweh, Shema, Shai, have spoken. Right, so when a man gets taken out, when a, when, when a, when a two-third Israelite gets taken out, by the bird FLU. It's the Lord that brought the, the Lord in his fury and f in his fury and furious rebukes that, that brought these things, man. 16 verse. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, right? Evil meaning bad times. Arrows of famine. The famine that's coming to this place, the Lord's bringing it. Which shall be for their destruction, the other nations, and which I will send to destroy you, two thirds of our people, right? Other nations gonna catch it. Two thirds of our people gonna catch it. Famine. And I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread, right? The the food shortages. We're already in a food shortage, right? The supply chain being disrupted during the time of the emic and still disrupted everything's gotten smaller produce has gotten small, smaller it spoils quicker you buy a, a bag of apples today they spoil within two weeks man you buy a head of lettuce to make a garden salad if you don't get to it right away it starts to brown in your fridge man the weights are the 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 the, the, the weights are less Right? Shrinkflation. We, we're in a food sh shortage right now. And it's about to turn into full-blown uh, food insecurity slash famine. Right? Bread lines ain't going to be able to keep up. B food banks aren't going to be able to keep up. 17th verse. So, so will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee. Right? The Lord sent in famine and, e famine and evil beasts. Right? Bears. Mountain lions. <laughs> bears, will be in, bears will be looking for food themselves in, in suburbia. The suburbs. Tipping over garbage cans and, and, and r r rummaging through, through uh, garbage bags on, on curbs in, in, in the suburbs. And they shall bereave thee. Looking at the word bereave, it means to be made childless. And pestilence, right? This bird, F-L-U, is a pestilence. Right? And blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon thee. The sword, a killing instrument, man. And we know Esau is the sword of the Mosai Yahweh Shai on the left-hand side. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Hashem, have spoken it, right? Jacob's trouble. Right, we're in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. Right? We're going to continue to see it increase and wax worse and worse. Lord will. The Lord doesn't uh, calm it down, right? The, the, the beloved elder apostle Tahar, according this year, the hopeful year that Jacob's trouble comes to pass. Right, so when we when we read these news articles, right, we pray the Lord speeds it up, right, because we're worn out, we're vexed with the with the with the with the doings of Babylon the Great, America the Great, the filthy conversation, the filthy conduct, the filthy lifestyle of this wicked place. So we're looking for in hastening. You know, we're th we're throwing our prayers. Hurry up, Lord! How much longer? Right, but nothing too long. Just wanted to touch on that. So with that, 
Kalala Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Raka Hakodash. Tablana to the apostles and elders of the great millstone to teach you on the rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect.